Everyone's complaining about a mid-season hero release, and I can't help but feel they're ignoring the fact that MC Hammer just got added to For Honor. Shinobi has underwent one of the largest overhauls in For Honor history. Ranged attacks are a thing of the past, sort of, meaning I can only accurately cosplay Scorpion through executions. But Shinobi is now actually a functional hero with several mix-ups and flippin' crazy stalling capabilities. Shinobi's moveset looks incredibly complicated until you realize everything leads to your opponent getting on their knees or playing Dark Souls. Any opener light or heavy, including the dash forward heavy, guarantees another light in the same direction and counts as the second hit in a chain. After a single or double shot of Kasari Gama, Shinobi can get ready for the Sickle Slaps. Sickle Rain is undodgeable if thrown on either side and unblockable if thrown on top. Both of these options can be fainted. If it connects, you get up to three light attacks while your opponent is helplessly pinned in place. Teamwork. Unfortunately though, so are you. Your opponent can't activate revenge well on their knees, and whether or not you throw lights, you have frame advantage. Sadly, allied bash moves act weird with Sickle Rain. Centurion's charged uppercut, for example, just staggers an opponent, and even Shaman's Bite and Highlander's Caper Toss do nothing. Bashes that confirm attacks may also be affected. Highlander's Kick, for example, won't mean free orange heavy against a pinned opponent. I don't know about every bash in the game, there's a lot of them, maybe I'll do it in another video. After any of the aforementioned attacks or Sickle Rain, you can press dodge to flex your gymnastic skills and do a backflip. Sorry, hands touching the ground? Technically not a backflip. That's a back handspring. Three points from the Canadian judge. This flip has invincibility or iframes, meaning attacks and bashes go right through them. However, blue attacks and guard breaks don't give a shit. My weakness. Unless you do them at the wrong time during the backflip. Out of the backflip, you can immediately light, flow back into sickle rain, or press guard break for an actual backflip with a kick, guaranteeing a heavy that executes. After that, you have your choice of Sickle Rain or Backflip. If you do the Backflip kick and someone goes for a dodge attack or bash, don't worry, you can just nope out of there. You are SOL though if someone decides to guard break. With the Backflip, you also lose your frame advantage in 90% of situations. After a blocked heavy, you recover in time to block or parry an incoming light or quick zone, and obviously anything you do will be interrupted. If you flip after a landed heavy, you will have more time to deal with an incoming attack, but you'll tie if you both go for light attacks, potentially getting yourselves into an infinite light attack loop. Your kick flip will beat any attack and you'll get a free heavy, giving you the backflip or sickle rain mix up again. If you flip after sickle rain without the sickle slaps, your light attack will actually win this time. If you flip after any light attack, including a bonus light or the sickle rain lights, you move far enough away that you'll avoid most light attacks altogether, but zone attacks have a farther reach and you'll need to block or parry those. If you try to throw any move, you will lose. And if you flip into a wall and thus don't move far enough back, well, you're eating that light attack. Thankfully, you're playing Mobility, the hero, and can dodge out of a backflip, avoiding or deflecting incoming attacks. Shinobi is currently the only hero that can double dodge, visually shown with a baby smoke bomb. From neutral, you can dodge any direction once, and then immediately again forward or to either side. The backflip counts as the first dodge, so you can only go forward or sideways. Out of a double dodge, Shinobi can quickly flow into an opener light or heavy, while single or double dodges can both be followed up with a Shinobi spin kick. After landing one of these kicks, pressing heavy throws a ranged bash that can be followed up with a front roll. It's basically the backflip, but forward, meaning plenty of iframes, chaining into a light, sickle rain, backflip kick, or another dodge. You can also backflip after a kick, even if it misses, and if anything about this wacky hero is gonna get nerfed, it's that, and it 100% needs to be. Check out this video from Freeze for more info on that. Oh, also Shinobi can do this for just over 3 minutes before going out of stamina. So yeah, that'll also get adjusted. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. If playing a ninja doesn't fulfill your weeb fantasies, then you'll be happy to learn that you can Naruto run by pressing sprint while sprinting. Just be careful not to use all of your stamina, you're not much use in a fight without it. While sprinting or super sprinting, you can press guard break to do some more acrobatics that confirm that heavy that you get after a backflip kick. Shinobi also has a zone attack, because all heroes do. This multi-hit zone can be followed up with Sickle Rain or a backflip. However, enemies can block or parry the last two hits of your zone even if they are initially hit, so you can hard feint or soft feint into a backflip halfway through your zone. As we've discussed previously, Shinobi's zone has some fun interactions with different all-guard moves, and we've also discovered some deflects. 
As an assassin, Shinobi is squishier than most of the cast, has a reflex guard and a deflect. Fun fact, Shinobi can deflect on the double dodge as well. Pressing guard break after deflecting turns you into Cold Steel, the and links into Sickle Rain or another kick that gives the ranged heavy bash and front roll. Similarly, after parrying, Shinobi gets a repost light that puts opponents in the same position. Take an absurd amount of damage and face the dodge, sickle rain, or kick mix up. This is all done against the target you deflected or parried, except for the times it isn't. Normally, the only moves you can target swap on are the usual suspects. Dodge, bashes, attacks, and kicks all work here. You can even change targets on the double dodge. But because Shinobi needs to break the game even when they're fixed, if you externally deflect or parry an opponent, only the first hit will target them, while the kick and ranged bash will go after the target you are locked onto. So yeah, ranged attacks are technically still around, just not nearly as easy to toss out. Also, I'd urge using caution when deflecting in the minion lane, as the minions have a tendency to break your punishes. It's pretty hard to kill what you can't hit. Obviously Shinobi is no exception. Plenty of iframes and quick options make Shinobi excellent at stalling, as long as you're careful around guard breaks and blue moves. They can also easily harass multiple targets in a teamfight. While Shinobi's moveset can be complicated, their max punishes aren't. For heavy parries, their light repost does more damage than delaying a double light. However, the double light may be more useful for hit stunning an opponent so an ally can land another hit. Light parries, guard breaks, and wall splats will all net you a heavy with that confirmed light. Unfortunately, that light does reduce damage on wall splats. So if you can do a side throw from max distance, you can actually whiff a light into sickle rain. Shinobi's deflect is stronger than the heavy parry punish, but not as strong as the light parry punish. When your opponent's green bar is gone, or you're cosplaying as Ninja Goku, parries and side throws have two options that both require proper timing. You could light, backflip, and sickle rain, or light, wait for a neutral heavy and bonus light. That bonus light can be blocked, but it doesn't stop your combo pressure. Look, I'm sure there's some anime references in Shinobi's armor pieces, but I'm no weeb, so I have no idea. The armor all looks ninja-esque to me, with variations on the cloth patterns and masks, and varying levels of spikes, because it's For Honor. The material color changes allow Shinobi to cosplay as your favorite palette swap ninja from Mortal Kombat, with effects and executions to match. I, of course, went with Scorpion, because I'm a basic bitch. As with every hero before year 4, ornaments go on the forehead. Shinobi's gear perks are Devourer, Remedy, Supersonic, Endurance, Clever Tactics, Headhunter, and Crush Them. If I could choose three, it'd be Remedy to stay healthy, Endurance to Naruto run further, and Clever Tactics for backcapping. In 4v4s, Shinobi's feats are as follows. Tier 1 has Bounty Hunter, Stealth, and Ki. Bounty Hunter refills your stamina and gives 20 HP after killing a hero. Sadly, not including allied heroes. Stealth hides you from the HUD, radar, and aim assist, allowing you to sneak around and pull off some surprise attacks. Going dark. EI yells at everyone around you and deletes their stamina. Shinobi's tier 2 feats are Smoke Bomb, Shooting Stars, and Executioner's Respite. Smoke Bomb was recently changed to stun and blind opponents caught in the smoke, hiding indicators for 5 seconds. Shinobi can fire shotgun stars with each of the 5 stars dealing 20 damage. Executioner's Respite heals you 50% more when executing. In Tier 3, there's Sharpen Blade, Nuka Kubi, and Slip Through. Sharpen Blade lets you play as Murderous Batman for the next 30 seconds. Nuka Kubi is basically Adderall. It refills your stamina as you land attacks, letting you be more focused on offense without any signs of slowing down. Slip through buffs the damage of your dodge attacks every few seconds. Finally, in tier 4, we have Aerostorm, Nail Bomb, and Yama Uba. Aerostorm is good for killing minions, and that's about it. Nail Bomb plants a grenade with shrapnel that causes a lot of bleeding damage. And Yama Uba, aka the really weak vampire feet, heals you for a tiny amount for each hit you land. Personally, I like running Stealth, Smoke Bomb, Slip Through, and Nail Bomb. 
Stealth helps avoid ranged feats since you can't be targeted by them. Smoke Bomb can help turn the tide quickly in teamfights, although Shooting Star's quick activation and wide range is good both offensively and when outnumbered. Slip Through makes the mix-ups out of dodges much more threatening, and Nail Bomb is the only good tier 4 Shinobi has. Shinobi's fun. That's all I have to say. Currently the backflip after a dodge kick is busted, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with Shinobi's rework. If you like ninjas, try Shinobi. If you want more information on specific damage values, attack timings, what executions are the most efficient, and more, the For Honor Information Hub has a beautiful spreadsheet that I've linked down below. I'd like to thank you for watching and thank my Patreon supporters who helped make these videos possible, especially Shadow. Hopefully in the new year I'll get my Elgato fixed and I can start streaming again on Twitch, so follow me there so you're ready when I start up streaming again. And of course, subscribe here for more. Have a good one, happy holidays, and I'll see you on the next video.